Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Today is Thursday. Uh, it is, I think, the 14th. Yes, it is definitely the 14th of April. Um, this will be Charm Chanter, I believe, number 297-ish. <laughs> Something like that. And I know I'm in the dining room, so welcome to the dining room. And don't mind that my blinds are crooked. Just ignore the crooked blinds in the background. Because I didn't notice it until I sat down. And, you know, sometimes you just have to... We eat at this table. <laughs> and I sit across from there. And sometimes when it's sunny, like, yay, it's sunny out <laughs> uh, today, right now, um, I get blinded by the light. And so we just, like, crick, get the light out of your eyes. And, you know, so enough of that. Uh, I am here today um, because I have some Amigurumi Wars pictures to post. I have a hair in my eye, so please excuse me. Um, so I have some Amigurumi War pictures. Ama, hashtag Amigurumi Wars 2022 um, pictures to post. And so they'll just, there's just a few. And I'll put them at the end of the video. Uh, so there's that. And then if you're not... If you don't know what that means if you don't know what i'm talking about have you been under a rock i mean come on uh if you don't so who started this uh anita from yoh crochet y.o.h crochet uh, which stands for yarn over hook uh is the ultimate uh creator host of amigurumi wars which is being done by um 12 or 14 different uh, podcasters, each one hosting a month or a half a month of Amigurumi Wars. Uh, a couple of the months are shared by other hosts, or I mean by two hosts, one Wars, two hosts. Uh, so every month we get different crochet projects that we can, uh, uh, different Amigurumis that you can make. I, and this is the month that I'm hosting, and I have to tell you, I haven't made one yet. <laughs> Um, and there are some I started I started one and then I decided I wasn't going to make it after all and um, so I've been really really bad and I have to make some amigurumis uh, there are usually eight free patterns or tutorials that you can choose from and you, know, you can make them all uh, there are two paid for patterns that are just randomly selected and this month and you and this month I added the three or the four patterns that Anita from YOH Crochet has created herself as the uh, person in charge of this. Uh, you know, it's an it's a year long activity. At the end, uh, you make a, a Annie. You post a picture to my Facebook group page at uh, linked below, or you send it to me email, also linked in the description box below. Uh, Anita's video will be linked below. Uh, all of the patterns that you have this month to choose from linked below <laughs> um, or where you can get them from or whatever. So for every free pattern or tutorial Amy that you pick and send the picture in you get one point. For the general two paid for patterns that everybody uses um, you get two points. Uh, and if you use Anita's patterns, uh, I'm trying to help promote her channel and her designs um, as a thank you for doing this, uh, you know, organizing all of this for us to have fun with this month, uh, this year, actually. I'm only doing it this month, but she's like got the overall. Uh, you get three points if you do the patterns from YOH, purchase them and do them. Uh, at the end of the month, whoever has the most patterns wins a prize from me. At the end of the year, whoever has the most points wins a prize from all of the podcasters that were involved. So that could be a great deal of fun. And I'm excited about it. I, of course, do not want to win a prize um, because I'm a pod, you know, I'm one of the podcasters. So I don't even know if we're allowed to, but I don't want to win one. But I'm doing the Amis to help, you know, um, promote the Amigurumi Rewards and put, a, put that hashtag on there. If you put it on my Facebook group page, hashtag Annie Wars 2022 uh, also will be in the description box below. So I don't have one of those to show you, but I do want to show you the pictures. So I've been going on for almost five minutes and I haven't even showed you what I really want to show you uh, besides the pictures at the end. Uh, I don't know if 
you guys are familiar with, um, what are they? Twisted Fiber Friends. They have a Facebook group page, which I don't know that I can link. Um, I don't know that you can link you, YouTube or uh, Facebook on YouTube. I think that's a bad and they don't let you do it or you get scolded. So I'm not going to do that. But it's a Facebook group page and it involves three women, two of which I know. Uh, Froggy, Luna Walking, Jen, and Carrie the Army Elephant, Carrie, are friends of mine. And the other person, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. I have never met her. Uh, and again, I apologize for that. But anyway, they are hosting a crochet along that is a uh, quarter to quarter blanket or hat and scarf. So because I am donating um, hats and scarves to Wings for Rose Likes Crochet, I decided to do the hat and scarf. And so this is the scarf I did. Look, it kind of matches my clothing, blue and black, or gray and black. But I just made this little scarf. I had thought about putting fringe, but I didn't because fringe doesn't wash well. And this is going to, um, you know, a, a going to support wings. And I thought, you know, they don't need the hassle of trying to, they got enough going on in their life. Uh, if you are a victim of abuse, you don't need to deal with the fringe is going to look like crap after you wash it and what to do about that. Um, but I also made this hat. And I will put it on for you. Now this is a bag of day uh, corner to corner hat and scarf. And it's a slouchy. See that? So isn't that awesome? And you can't wash the pom-pom. But it's just put on with a, a button. Just put it through the button. And then um, it's got the you know elastic. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, uh, Ask Jax from Creations by Jax do a little tutorial uh, video on how you put the button on without sewing. I'm totally in love with this idea. Uh, so Jax, uh, Jaxi, you need to do a little tutorial video on how to do that. So this is my entry into their, um, you know, just to participation uh, into their crochet along and a little shout out for their Facebook group. Uh, I think they do lives together, the three of them. Now, I've been to several of their lives, but not that particular one. I don't know when it is. I seem to miss that one. Um, and you guys, you know, I'm not one that really goes to lives a whole lot. Uh, but the more and more of my friends start doing lives, and the more and more lives I end up going to because I want to support my friends. I mean, I want to support everyone. But, um, you know, there's only so many hours in a day. Uh, so... The other thing I wanted to show you is, I mean, just get down here uh, for a second. I have started, and I better not pull it out. I'll be really mad at myself. Okay. I have started the tutorial for my Campfire Ruana. Uh, I've had a few people ask me for a pattern or a, a tutorial. I am doing a tutorial. I am this far. I'm this far. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but I am doing the tutorial and I don't know that I'll have a written pattern. I'm not very good at pattern writing and I've had my friends write the patterns for me in the past. But if you have the tutorial, you can like just do the shorthand because it's really, the stitch pattern is easy. And in the uh, beginning of the tutorial, I put out like a 10 minute, this is how you make it without having to watch the whole tutorial. So if you, you know, have a clue of a stitch pattern you want to use yourself, um, I gave you a guide as to how I created it to begin with. So that's uh, up and coming. But as you can see, I am, I'm not just doing the swatch of it. I'm doing the whole thing. So it's going to take me a minute to get the video out there. But I'm working on it. So um, I am using the pattern that Nan from Nan's Next Knots started her Luck of the Draws with. Uh, and I will link her channel. Um, I made my Ruana from her Luck of the Draw 3. The one that, the pink, peach one with the oranges and the grays. That one and the pinks. Um, that was the Luck of the Draw 3. 
We are currently doing look of the draw five, which I'm not up to date with. I'm not going to show you mine. I have two this week and this is Thursday. So I haven't done this week's yet and I didn't do last week's and I'm making a shawl. And um, the pattern is simple and, and I'll go and get into that in a whole nother thing. But I, I cannot seem to remember it or write it down in a manner that makes me be able to do it without watching the tutorial <laughs> every single time. I'm like, it's not that it's hard. It's just that I can't. I always screw it up if I don't watch the tutorial while I do it every single week. Or on week 11, I've screwed, screwed it up. And I, I, so I have 10 and 11 to do, and I've screwed it up nine times every time I do it wrong. And I pull it out and I have to watch the tutorial. So this, so I'm waiting for a couple of weeks so I can just sit down and do a couple of weeks at a time. Uh, so that maybe, you know, I don't have to pull it out so many times. <laughs> Um, so that's a whole nother story. But anyway, I went through the story, so sorry for you. Uh, this, I am using a six millimeter hook. Uh, and as I said, I am using the stitch pattern that uh, Nan created. I am using the Bernat, what's it called? Cozy style. Um, I have two in the gray because every other row, it, this it would be if you were following Nan's next knot, this would be my base color. I did not choose eight additional colors like you do for look of the draw. I chose three additional colors because I want this to kind of uh, use the colors of the Ohio State Buckeyes. So they're scarlet and gray. So I used the gray is going to be every other row. And then I have the red. And this gray is called soft gray. And I have the red, which is called, I just, I think it's just called red. Uh, no, yep, it's called just, it's just called red. So, uh, and then I have white, which I am using crafts. I, I don't, I have several of these uh, craft smart value in white. Um, so I'm just using that for the white because I didn't, when I was at Ollie's and picked these up, they did not have white. And then I'm going to be using the uh, cozy style in black. Um, so I don't know how much of this yarn I will actually use of all of these. Uh -oh, just throw it on the floor. Uh, as I said, I do have two of the gray because I'm going to be using that for every other row, and probably I'm going to only use one skein, one of these big balls of it. It's going to be my guess. Uh, and the other colors, I won't. I don't think the white. I probably use a whole skein of white, maybe more. Um, but the others, cause that's just a small skein, 354 yards. These big skeins are, um, a thousand, excuse me, 1,015 yards. So I don't think I'm going to use all of these, um, maybe the gray, but the other two, I don't think so. So my pattern, uh, color pattern that I'm going to use is, Every other row is going to be gray. So I'm going to do gray. Then I'm going to do two sections of red. And then I'm going to do a section of white. And then I'm going to do two sections of two, you know, sections of red and a section of black and two sections of red. And then go back to the white with the gray in between each one. Um, because Ohio State is their colors are technically scarlet and gray. Um, but when you see their logos and stuff, they have a little bit of white and a little bit of black in them. So I'm just going to represent with a little, you know, a little bit of black and a little, and I didn't want it to just be two colors. So, um, but my husband is a big Ohio state fan. I mean, Browns are the number one, but, and you know, um, we have a baseball team and here in Cleveland, uh, the Cleveland area, I live in the greater Cleveland area, uh, you know, we have the Cleveland Browns, we have the um, Cleveland, well now they're Guardians, uh, as our baseball team. And we have the Cleveland Cavaliers, um, and my husband's fan of all of them. Uh, but he's also, he's a bigger football fan than he is baseball or basketball. Uh, and so I thought I would make, he doesn't have anything Ohio State, so I thought I would make the Ohio State, and it could go with any, you know, neutral, neutral, gender neutral, that's what I'm looking for. 
because anybody can be an Ohio State fan, right? So that's what I'm doing, and that's what I've been working on. And um, like I said, I have started the tutorial, but it's not going to be like done in, by next week. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it the fastest that I can. Uh, and this weekend, the campground is doing what they call a soft opening, which means that if you have a permanent camp spot, you can go. Uh, I, you can spend the night, you know, you can just stay there for the, uh, permanent campers. Uh, it's open for us. We can go, um, you can, you know, just move in if you want to. And, and that's fine and dandy. T today it's nice out. Tomorrow it's supposed to be nice out. Saturday we're calling for rain, I think, and temperatures cooling off. And so Roy and I are debating, uh, we, ha we're going to load up our car. We're going to open up the camper for sure uh, tomorrow. Pull the slides out, you know, unwinterize it, uh, clean it, you know, that kind of thing. We're taking stuff out there, um, blankets and pillows and soap and, you know, that I don't remember what I left in it. Uh, so I, I need to take like an inventory, but I know there's stuff I can, can take that I need to have there. So we're taking that stuff. Uh, some of it, taking an inventory of what's there. The only thing is, I don't know if the water in the campground is going to be on yet. Uh, the electricity should be working. That should be fine. But I don't know that the water is working. And if there's no water, we're definitely not staying the night. If there is water, we might stay the night tomorrow night. But then we're going to come home on Saturday anyway, because Sunday is Easter and we got, you know, Easter. Even though we could, you know, stay at the campground and do Easter, we're, because we're going to my son's house, uh, my son and daughter-in-law's, so we really, truly could do that from from the camper. But like we're cooking and you know whatever, so we're we're coming home. <laughs> the bottom line is we will be home sometime on Saturday for sure, if we even spend the night at all, which hmm, probably won't. Maybe will. I don't know. We're gonna take stuff to be prepared to do that. Which also is not yarny stuff, so sorry that I babbled on about that. But the um, reason is that I babbled. I got this whole weekend. I'm probably not going to do a lot of crocheting, <laughs> so it's not going to get too, too too far in the tutorial. Uh, I do have to make at least one Ami from this Amigurumi boards. I really and truly do want to make Nico's Yeti because I haven't made that yet. Uh, that's the one of Anita's patterns that I have not made of the four of them, and I really need. The Yeti to complete the set and I really wanted to make it this month um so I don't know if I'll get done with him or not I don't know if I'll get started on him or not because usually I do like the majority of my crocheting on the weekends and now it's the weekend and I don't know how much crocheting I can crochet in the car while we're driving I will do that and I will work mostly on this to get caught up to where I can do tutorial parts to it um but I'm in between that, you know, I've got it, gotten it started, show the color, you know. But now I have to get to, like, the next thing that changes something. And that's, I'm halfway to the next thing that changes something. <laughs> oh. uh, but it's an experience, so that's all right. So that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to get this stuff done so I can put everything away and pack it up to take to the camper in case we spend the night. I will be taking this and maybe I'll pack Nico's Yeti. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make this thing right because I hear it's really fast. And uh, so I might just do that. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see when I get there. Uh, so stay tuned now because at the end here, I'm going to put in the all the little pictures from all the um, submissions pictures of the Ami Wars that I've gotten since the last video earlier this week. So if you submitted a picture as of the 14th in the morning to me, and it's not in here, send me a little email and say, hey, where's my whatever? Uh, there is one person and I and I emailed you. I, had, I know you sent in three pictures and I saw all three pictures in my email um, and when I went to download them, I only had one set of pictures. I have some red foxes. But the other two things, I, I have six pictures of your foxes. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. So send them the other two back, and I will do them uh, in the next video. Uh, 
because uh, I don't know how I got six of one thing and not the other two pictures. I don't, I don't know. So fix that. Uh, and then, so anyway, anybody else, if you have not seen this month anything that you've sent me as of the morning of the ninth of the 14th, or you haven't seen your stuff in there, um, email me because I either can't find it in on the YouTube page, haven't seen it, or I didn't get the email to begin with because to the best of my knowledge, I think I have everybody up to date and I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, so with that said, thanks for watching uh, up to this part. And please, even if you skipped in between, watch everybody's makes because they're so proud of themselves and I'm so proud of them and so happy for everyone that is participating and grateful that you're participating because it would really suck if I was doing a crochet along kind of thing and no, and I lost. And it's a amigurumi wars. I don't want to be the one that has no submissions to my channel for Amigurumi Works. So thanks so much for doing that. Thanks so much for watching and supporting our fellow crocheters by um, looking at their makes and putting little comments, uh, uh, you know, in the comment section on how wonderful they all are because they're all wonderful. Lynn is, um, I think she is currently making the sixth or seventh of the seven dwarves. And they're all so cute. I think I have one or two of them in this video, but there are, the rest of them are in the other videos. I think she's, I, um, I think she's finishing the sixth one or maybe the last one, but they're all adorable. And when they're all completely done, I want her to send me a picture. She's, you can see each one is different and I put them in there, but, um, at the end, I want her to send me a picture of all of them together so I can post that for you. So you can see it. It's so cool. I've seen them. Uh, in Zoom because Lynn comes into Zoom and so I've seen her making them and I've seen them lined up on her shelf uh, all the ones that are done and I'm like oh it's so adorable so anyway again thanks so much for watching and please continue to watch uh, all of our all of our friends and all of their makes so I'll see you in the next video thanks bye